Yeah, good morning, the Alpine Guy here in Southern Idaho. This morning we're going to take a quick check on the uh, TST-507 system that I'm running. It's the latest version. I've been running uh, the TST systems for well over 10 years and, uh, and upgraded to the new color display last year, along with some new sensors for the uh, fifth wheel. And uh, I run four sensors uh, on the fifth wheel and two sensors on the truck, as indicated here. This is the truck, and these are my two rear wheel sensors, and of course the four sensors seen here are for the uh, fifth wheel. And we're running off battery power, as can be seen right now. There's the battery icon, and we can get a feel for what the temperatures are this morning and the pressures. Uh, the temperature's reading on the fifth wheel about 57, and it, I set them at uh, 100 PSI, all four tires, and uh, all four sensors read pretty close. And we'll take a look-see there. And the two sensors you see now are my truck rear tire sensors. And I set those, uh, this morning I aired up the rear tires to 80 PSI, getting ready for the trip. Uh, I run 80 PSI when I'm towing, 55 in the rear tires when not towing. There's been some discussion that I've seen lately, and one from, uh, one of the TST uh, company reps that states that uh, the sensor can't detect uh, a catastrophic blowout or the, the TPMF system cannot detect a catastrophic blowout. And uh, I, I think what the guy is saying is uh, uh, true and then not true. And the reason I'm gonna say that is if you see right now the left rear tire sensor was blinking now the right rear tire sensor is blinking on the truck that means each one of those sensors as it blinks uh, is getting a reading from the uh, remote sensor on the tire and sending it to the tst display and so there is a lag time for example if i had a blowout right now on this left uh, or driver's side front tire on uh, my alpine I would not get notified about it until the scanner, or the, until the TPMS uh, scans around to that tire sensor as just shown now. So in other words, what I'm saying is if I unscrew this uh, driver's side front wheel sensor off the fifth wheel, it's the, the TPMS is not going to tell me that I've had a sudden loss of air until it comes around and scans that sensor again, which makes sense because the display cannot simultaneously scan all six of these sensors at one time. So for my particular setup, since we're scanning six sensors, two for the truck, four for the fifth wheel, it's gonna take about 10 seconds scan time to scan this driver's side front sensor on the fifth wheel and then come all the way around and rescan again. What I'm going to do is after that sensor finishes recording its pressure, I'm going to unscrew the sensor. And so now we're unscrewing the sensor, which is simulating a catastrophic blowout. And it did actually pick that sensor up immediately. And uh, so it's telling us that the left front the driver's side uh, is reading zero PSI. It's flashing. You can hear the audible warning. We see the low pressure indication along with the low pressure icon and also the fast leak warning. So it picked that sensor up almost immediately. Now I've reinstalled the sensor as you can see and we're going to try this again and uh, see if we get the same indication one more time. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna wait and let the display check all of the fifth wheel tires. And then when it finishes with the last tire on the fifth wheel and goes back up to the uh, pickup truck rear tire, so which it just did, I have now unscrewed this sensor on the fifth wheel, okay? Here is the sensor, and as you can see, it did not pick that rapid loss up. Now that's with the sensor completely, now it just now realized, oh, there's a complete loss of pressure. And as you can see by the 
low tire indication, low pressure indication. It says low pressure and it says fast leak. And it's beeping with the audible warning. The display is telling us that the driver's side front tire on the fifth wheel is where the issue is at and we're reading zero PSI. What we're gonna do this time is we've moved over to the passenger side and we're gonna use the passenger side front tire. As you can see, we just showed 99 PSI and we'll wait until the, scan, the uh, TPMS starts scanning the pickup truck tires. And now I'm gonna remove the passenger side front sensor off of the fifth wheel. Here it is in my hand. And let's see how long, and it detected that pretty quickly. So I don't know why TST is saying that uh, this won't pick up a, a blowout because if I remove that sensor, that uh, is simulating a catastrophic blowout, immediate loss of pressure to the sensor to record. I have screwed the sensor back in and it should be able to find it here in just a minute. You'll notice it's still beeping because it hasn't seen the, the uh, data coming yet from the passenger side uh, sensor. Now it has, and the error messages, the low pressure and fast leak messages have disappeared. The audible alarm is gone, and we can see that the display is back to normal. We'll wait one more time and let it scan that uh, passenger side uh, front tire on the fifth wheel again, just to verify. We're showing 100 in the driver's side front tire, and we're showing 99 in the passenger side front tire. Well, that wraps up my little uh, uh, test on the TST-507 system. I'm using the latest one with a color display, four new sensors on the fifth wheel, two old sensors on my pickup truck. And I did, uh, when I upgraded the system uh, last year, uh, I went ahead and got the repeater, which I had not been using with the original system. And uh, so I don't know why TST is saying that the uh, system won't detect an immediate blowout. If I unscrew a sensor, like you saw that I did twice on two different tires, two different sensors, uh, within less than five seconds, uh, it picked that up and recognized it immediately that there was a, a complete drop in the uh, pressure. And I got the audible warning along with the red uh, a visible warnings of low pressure and fast leak. So that wraps it up from the Alpine guy.